and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies! Wow. <laughs> Coming to you for the very first time from Comedy Off-Broadway in Lexington, Kentucky! Yeah! We are doing it. It's Tuesday, May 7th, 2019. I've done stand-up shows here in this particular venue on this date for the last few years, and there were lots of great name tags at the stand-up shows, so I was like, you know, let's do a Doug Loves Movies, and now I need to know what the name tag situation is. I think it's gonna be, oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. I had a feeling you guys would uh, turn it out, and you did. What's this little lady head you're holding up? Uh, it's a little Captain Marvel doll? Yeah. And then you've got uh, Brie Larson's movie Unicorn Store, but you changed it to what? You Nick Corn Store, because <laughs> your name is Nick. We've got the Topher Chainsaw Massacre. Nice. James Dread <laughs> instead of Judge Dread, but he's got it on a pile of candy and donuts. <laughs> and he's, he's right here up front, so I'm I feel un, feeling strongly for him. Mag E instead of Wall E, like it. Quinn side out, because your name is Quinn. This lady has little confidence in her name tag, just left it on the table. <laughs> let's, not, let's not worry about it right now. Lots of really big ones. The riches of Eastwick. <laughs> I see, oh, Lisa Smiles. These are, you guys are really uh, making me happy. <laughs> what does Luke Stook mean? And two smoking barrels. Luke Stook and two smoking barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and your name really is Luke Stook? It's just Luke. It's just Luke? <laughs> All right, well, you guys can put them down. Be ready uh, in a little while to uh, whip those out again. <laughs> and I'm sure when you guys listen to the show, your favorite part is what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Doug plugs, because everybody wants to, you know, hear about where I'm going that they aren't. <laughs> Malton Fest in L.A. this weekend. I'll be there Friday night with Doug Lowe's Movies, followed by a screening of Sing Street in the beautiful Egyptian theater in Hollywood. Sunday, DLM is back at Comedy Works in Denver at 420 for my annual Mother's Day appearance. DLM is happening for the first time ever at the Brea Improv in Brea, California on Sunday, May 19th at 420. And DLM makes a triumphant return to comedy on state in Madison, Wisconsin on Saturday, May 24th at 420. Lots more shows after that. For all my dates and deets and links, go to DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com! Yeah! <laughs> Wallet is back. Wallet is happening, you guys. You're paying attention. All right, so... Here's what's in the prize bag tonight that I brought. My guests brought stuff too. I got a Douglas Movies sticker, a Douglas Movies t-shirt, a, uh, I was just in Chicago, so a magazine about Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. <laughs> and a, of course, one of my Doug Benson rockin' pins. Yeah, if you don't win one in the prize bag tonight, you can buy one from us uh, out 
We'll be just outside after the show doing stuff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a pretty chill spot that the comedy... It really is, really is way off Broadway. <laughs> this, this club. <laughs> I know, because I was just in New York. And... Um, I'll show you the last thing that I brought uh, once I get my guests out here. You guys ready to bring the guests out? Please give it up for Anna Mazza, Troy Tate, and Jeff Tate. There's more Tate up here than usual. <laughs> two times, two times we the Tate. We got double Tate tonight, you guys. But let's meet my guests individually, as we like to do. Starting with Anna Mazza. Hello. Uh, Hi, thanks. Thank you for having me. Thanks, thanks. for being here. Yes, thanks. I, I, I'm a comedian from Cincinnati. Um, <laughs> And here I am. <laughs> Hang on, let me, you didn't let me continue. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. Uh, Anna is a Cincinnati comedy phenom. <laughs> <laughs> and she's here with us tonight. She's a really great driver, too. She brought us here in she her Prius. She was your driver in a yeah. Prius? Yeah, I drive a Prius. Prius. Not, great mileage. You guys stop standing, Prius. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Uh, did you see the frog hat is here? <laughs> what? The oh, lady hello, always yeah. shows up to my shows here wearing uh, a frog hat, which yeah, reminds yeah. me of the band Fog Hat, <laughs> which nobody cares about anymore. <laughs> or ever. I don't know if they ever did. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Do you think you're going to be good at the uh, trivia games? Um, yeah, I, um, I went to school for film, and I used to be a production assistant, so hopefully I'm, okay, I'm well, all right. Well, you know, I mean, the Tates are going to come at you hard. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> You're fucking surrounded by Tate. So Tate is, yeah. is a Tate sandwich at this point. <laughs> oh, that does not sound good. Too, no. close, too close to Tate. It's smelly. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> But now I'd like to introduce the most uh, illiterate, illiterate, alliterative. It, it's, <laughs> it's Troy Tate, everybody. TT. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me, Doug. I'm, uh, I'm not a comedian from Cincinnati. I just uh, do a thing with Jeff sometimes. Yeah, and, you uh, are, are together on a podcast. We do that. Yeah. And uh, he makes me play the games all the time. So uh, I feel pretty ready for that. That's interesting that he's trained you for this. He wasn't really thinking ahead that he'd have to go up against you. Yep. Thinking ahead's not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jeff Tate. <laughs> So Jeff, yeah, good to see you. Hey, Doug. You're, you're looking, you're looking colorful as ever. Thank you, thank you. This is my new look. It's called. I'm dressed up like a guy from Doonesbury whose name is Drugs. Sounds like a fun character. Oh uh, yeah, it is. I have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> The one thing I neglected to mention that's going to be in the uh, prize bag because I wanted to present uh, Jeff with uh, his own uh, version of it because our friends at Glass Action uh, made two of these. Uh, they're the people that make uh, really cool personalized night lights, and you can uh, reach out to them and order one yourself if you want. But we've got two of these that are Jeff Tate in a... <laughs> in a uh, very involved fuzzy hat. <laughs> he looks oh. like Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> it's Jeff if he were in Cats. That'll cast nightmares on your bedroom wall. Yeah, and you just, uh, yeah, it's a little nightlight. And, uh, it's cute, it's cute. Uh, so <laughs> they made two of them, so Jeff's going to do whatever he wants with one of them. I, I think it's a perfect Mother's Day gift. And I agree. I mean, what, what mom wouldn't love that? But then the other one's going to go in the prize bag. Somebody here tonight is going to win, have their very own Jeff Tate nightlight. <laughs> yeah. Delight your friends and terrify your children. Yeah, try to go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody already put some uh, delicious-looking donuts on the, uh, on the stage, so... Um, those are gonna get chucked yeah. in the crowd at some point. Because I don't need like a weird <laughs> offering. I don't, no one's I don't need a, those damn donuts. That's all I've ever wanted to do. This is <laughs> throw a donut. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess why should we wait? You want to go ahead and throw I mean, one? Do oh, it. Do you want to sure. go ahead and toss one? All right. All right. I love making people's dreams come true. <laughs> And the person who catches the donut, that's probably going to be a dream for them. <laughs> okay, here he goes. Whoa! You catch it? Oh, can I throw one? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, yeah, I want to throw one. Uh -oh. I prefer, you know, it, Troy was real gentle. I like people to throw overhand. <laughs> like, you know, really jam it in there. Yeah. Uh. Side arm. <laughs> Good one, Anna. Classic Jeff. <laughs> You're supposed to take a bite out of it and then throw it like a grenade. <laughs> it's a little dry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got a question to ask each of you. Uh, two questions, really, now that I think about it. But we'll start with... What'd you bring for the uh, prize bag, Troy? Oh, uh, here. We, uh, here, hold on. Uh-oh. We shared a bag here. Um, I got a, uh, let's see, I'll leave with this. It's a uh, Star Wars zip-up beer koozie. It looks like C-3PO, and then on the back it has your two favorite droids from the franchise, him and R2. And uh, <laughs> um, got the, uh, this cool Peacemaker hat. It's oh, adjustable, neat. so whatever size your head is, it'll fit. It's for everybody. And, uh... Okay, yep, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm here. Let me hold it. Here, just... Oh, right. she's gonna wear it. She's I, gonna model it. Oh, where's my dip? <laughs> it's a little... I'm, it, it's it's coming. Wars, it's at the so. bottom of the bag. <laughs> where's my girlfriend I can hit? <laughs> 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 I mean, probably still in the parking lot. <laughs> Aww. All right. Uh, this you is hit it. your girlfriend? Hashtag me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it's for. I think I used it wrong. <laughs> All right. This is a uh, Mr. Red Legs X-Wing bobblehead. So <laughs> fans of the Reds or Star Wars or both. This is a cool little thing to take home, so I hope I can help you win it. That's Yeah, what that is a tonight. fun prize. Thank you, Troy. Trashy right, Dano. The prizes go that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah bring it, give them to me. I am the prize. The bag. thing I like most, <laughs> I like how dusty this box feels. It's a, it's a antique heirloom. Uh, it's been passed down a few times. We, we love it. Here, I'll take it. It was a wedding gift. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Anna? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Um, the first thing is um, a Swisher Sweets uh, bottle opener. Right. Um, the <laughs> next thing is a picture of me drunk in Sedona, Arizona. Oh. <laughs> On one of those cool tiny Polaroids. Yeah, They're expensive, so this is at least $3 worth of a picture. Um, a mud mask for your face. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever um, you want to cover in mud. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend after you hit her, and then. Um, <laughs> Here we're we're taking the hat off. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. time for the hat to go. <laughs> yeah, she was really throwing out in that hat. 
Um, this is called uh, mystical uh, fire. You can put it in a fire and it'll change the flames colors. I got it in Toronto. So Delight your friends and terrify to, your yeah. children. I had to claim it. Yeah. And then um, this is a candle that I made. I can make candles. Um, it, I thought it'd be beneficial to learn how to make candles for like the after times, or I could be a part of your, you know, your apocalypse family. Right. Everyone needs yeah. a skill to get in the cave. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. how to make candles, so we'll all be able to read. Yeah. And a walnut, just a walnut. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign that walnut for a, a lucky person. There you go. <laughs> a, sign, a signed nut. Well, there's this weird, like, running thing in that movie, The Wife with Glenn Close, where her husband, uh, he likes to sign walnuts and give them to people. He's like a famous writer, and he's always, like, signing walnuts and giving them away. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's... That guy sounds like, how do you know it's him with his, when he's all the way up his own butt like that? <laughs> Are you... I'm going to smell this candle. Okay, good. I, I lit it for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is used? <laughs> Test. No, so you have to melt the top. Oh, it does smell good. Thank you. I made the scent myself. <laughs> <laughs> the scent is from me. It's called Morning Dude. <laughs> Morning, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the best dude of the day. Somebody, uh, yeah, if he spends the night, <laughs> it's a good dude. Morning, dude. <laughs> Here's part of the thing that's weird about signing walnuts is it's not easy to do. <laughs> they probably CGI'd it in the movie. <laughs> Yeah, it really, it really takes some effort. So I guess the guy was really, uh, really into making an effort. When it comes I would have brought autographs. my other nut if I knew you were going to sign them. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got some bigger ones back at the hotel? <laughs> yeah, I have, actually have a second walnut in my purse. <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a party tonight. <laughs> <laughs> two walnuts and a candle. You're all set if the apocalypse happens. <laughs> you know, no, it's two tates, one walnut. <laughs> 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 what did you bring, Jeff? <laughs> I brought, oh, check this out. I brought a, oh, I thought I brought more stuff. <laughs> I brought, listen, I got this. It's a Batman air freshener for your car. <laughs> right? I know. Murmur, murmur. <laughs> a sticker for a record store in Cincinnati called Shake It so you can look like you're cool and drive, go out of town for records. Right? I mean, you probably don't, but whatever. Go hang out at the fucking first Mellow Mushroom and look like a fucking cool person. <laughs> and I brought this album. Uh, it's Todd Snyder's new album. It's called Cash Cabin Sessions, Volume 3, and it's really good. And I just want um, you to listen to it. Whoever you are, it's great. <laughs> What I want is for somebody that's listening to be like, oh, he likes Todd Snyder? I know Todd Snyder. That's all I'm looking for. You want a Todd Snyder hookup? Yeah. Okay. See? What are you going to say to him when you meet him? I'm going to say, why is it called volume three? There's only one. <laughs> Think he gets that question ever? I mean, man, he made me drive all over town. I thought they were just out. <laughs> I went everywhere going, you got one and two, three's great. <laughs> and they're like, nobody makes me look like a fool but me. <laughs> what, a, what was the other thing you gave? Not the sticker, but the other thing? I don't remember. Oh, a Batman air freshener. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you said for the car, but it'd be kind of cool just wear around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> And when I say you, I mean you, Jeff. It'd be cool. I mean, it's, not, it's like a lateral move. From, nobody's going to be like, oh, now you look stupid. <laughs> what about, you mentioned Mellow Mushroom? Yeah. 
That place, uh, the Mellow Mushroom that's right here in this mall closed. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that sad? It is pretty sad, but I'm not going to get too worked up over it. <laughs> they tell you right in the name to be mellow. <laughs> Don't worry about what happens to us, man. <laughs> We'll be fine. I'm worried about where you're going to get your okay pizza. <laughs> we got insurance, man. We'll be fine, man. <laughs> all right. Well, all that's going in, into the prize bags. We got multiple bags for the winner. And uh, before we get to the uh, competitive part, I just want to ask everybody uh, that burning question. We'll start with Troy. What was the last movie you saw? The last movie I watched was Batman. It was uh, <laughs> in the theater. It was the, uh, the just the straight up Batman. Like a special um, uh, revival yeah, screening. Yeah, it was last Saturday. At, um, at where'd you see it? What kind of theater was it? Um, just your standard. Just a regular set. ass movie theater. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no plug for the place that showed Batman. No, it was just a regular one. Okay. It's one that y'all go to. That's cool. And uh, how did Batman uh, hold up for you on the big it was, screen? It was amazing. Yeah, I was, I was specifically, we were both specifically not allowed to see it during its first theatrical run. <laughs> so this was kind of a little win for us. Um, yeah, in your you face, know, Dad. Yeah, I'm 30. <laughs> 38 now. Do what I want. Yeah. Uh, so we went. You're dead. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we like, can watch Batman if we want to now. <laughs> right? So, I could yeah. be Batman almost. With a dead dad. He's got a dead dad. Halfway. Halfway there. God. Were you worried your dead dad would show up as a ghost and ruin the experience? Yeah, I, I was a little worried about it. <laughs> I'm 38 now. <laughs> Dead or not. Right? You're just a uh, ghost. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, but yeah. The I next feel like this I'm is a see. laugh like therapy <laughs> session. Are you guys, you guys No, check this out, Doug. When we were leaving, there was a guy that was he was where he had uh suspenders holding up his jean shorts and he brought his own walking stick to the movie. Uh so you can picture him, right? <laughs> He's like really into Batman. And then as we're leaving, we end up right next to each other, and I tap him, and I go, I thought Joaquin Phoenix was going to be in this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's the one with the Joker, right? Like, he's supposed to be, I thought Joaquin Phoenix was the Joker, but, I mean, this one was okay. <laughs> if he's out there, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to break you. <laughs> I guess we already know what the last movie Jeff saw was. Uh, what about you, Anna? Well, uh, speaking of dead dads, the <laughs> the last movie I watched was Contact. Uh, <laughs> but I fell asleep to it, and I fell asleep right at the part where she gets shot into space, so I don't know what happens at the end. It so, was Earth the whole time. <laughs> Maybe. I I, 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 it makes sense that you fell asleep because that movie's like white noise because they're always like listening to that. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, it's math. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> and then I watched, I also watched Zookeeper, which was a giant mistake. That's the movie where uh, all the animals talk to the zookeeper? Yeah, they, yeah, they talk in him into pretty much uh, seducing a woman. It, it was insane. It was the dumbest. Well, because if animals would talk, that's the main thing. They'd yeah. want, they want dudes to get their fuck on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want Kevin James to get laid. Yeah, so. yeah I mean, you know, an animal's purpose right. is to uh, serve men, so <laughs> if they could what? talk, they definitely would be wingmen. Why well, is Kevin, so to speak, especially the ducks? How many movies is Kevin James in where someone's trying to help him fuck? <laughs> These animals are they ran just out like of Hitch, people. But... They ran out of people. That's why they got Hitch zoomed. couldn't help me, so I've turned to the world of animals. Yeah. Within the first five minutes of the film, they <laughs> they grabbed a Red Bull can out of a lion, and I was like, "This is just the." Thing. He gra he's not even a certified vet, and he stuck his whole hand down a sedated lion, and they pulled out a Red Bull can. And if that happened, there would be lawsuits, and I feel like I just didn't add up. 
aside from the talking animals. That's what, <laughs> that's what really bothered me. <laughs> Could everyone hear him or just Kevin James? Like, were the girls like, why the fuck no, are those every, lions every, talking every, about us? Well, he took the gorilla to Applebee's at one point. because Just on a practice date? No, that's what... <laughs> yeah, they put a gorilla in captivity, and his one wish was to go to Applebee's, which is insane. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go home. I want to go to Applebee's. How does a gorilla in a cage at the zoo even know about Applebee's? <laughs> Just an occasional t-shirt that walks by? And there are, there are a lot of that loose. That doesn't even of happen. Of Who wears Applebee's merch? I mean, some of this might be Applebee's merch. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> their clothes are so soft that you're feeling good in the neighborhood. <laughs> I think they just got good noses. And they're like, oh, are those frozen riblets I smell? (laughs) (laughs) They don't want to go to a too nice of a restaurant. He's got to go back to the zoo and eat zoo food. If he goes to somewhere nicer than Applebee's, he'll fucking kill himself. (laughs) He can't go to somewhere good like Outback. (laughs) Kevin James brought him jambalaya. (laughs) <laughs> it was don't watch it the, uh, basically <laughs> a lot of things that made me upset <laughs> Jeff what was the last movie you saw I, the last movie I saw was Shazam yeah why are you that, why, why did that happen how dare you you didn't see it did you see it it's good my only quibble with it is I really I thought for sure Sinbad was in it like they would, it's the same joke from Batman, but with Sinbad this time. Um, I just went to see Shazam because I wanted to find out the name of a song I was hearing. <laughs> right, I don't but, like uh, those games based on apps. <laughs> Angry Birds, Shazam, uh, that one about maps. <laughs> No, I think everybody laughed when you said you saw Shazam because you just, when you speak, you say words funny, and Shazam is a funny word to say in a Jeff Tate voice. Somebody over here gave me the old horse laugh, though. Somebody over here gave me the old... (laughs) Somebody over here was like, raspberries to that, and I will not stand for it, sir. I had no idea horses were laughing when they did that. I thought they were turning something down. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's their aloha, Doug. <laughs> oh, it can mean so many things. <laughs> anyway, it was great. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Shazam. I mean, why didn't they put Sinbad in it? Like, that would have... He probably would have done it. Why, why do you think Sinbad should be in it? Because everybody thought Sinbad was in a movie. All the Mandela, dummies who can't tell what oh. color a dress is or whatever. Right. Like They're like, the Baron St. Bears and Sinbad made a movie called Shazam, which he didn't, but then they did, and Sinbad's still alive <laughs> and, uh, pre- and very funny. So why not? Why'd it have to be Jaiman Hunsu? He just disappeared. I mean, spoiler alert, it happens at the beginning. <laughs> Like, that could have been Sinbad. Sinbad could have been the wizard that was like, now nah, you're Shazam or whatever. Like, I was really high, but it, I, like, why wasn't it? Sinbad could have been anything a little wink, a little nod to real life, a little like, now I am in Shazam, you motherfuckers. But you like the movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> raspberries to your raspberries. I give raspberries to your raspberries. <laughs> Raspberries on you, Doug. Don't eat that donut. It's gross. Don't. No, thank you. Oh. Hold up a target. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was violent. (laughs) Jeff, you can't. You took a bite out of that one. Yeah, we're just. It's yours to keep. I'm going to keep it in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to eat it later. Do you later, think it'll I... miss its friends? Yeah. It'll be sad as not with the other donuts. Do you think the other two donuts are consoling it because it got a bite taken out of it? Yeah. Where'd all my brothers go? Is, that, is right? the next That's Pixar the... movie happening in that box? It's that girl that, got, that lost her arm to a shark and still surfs. 
Oh, but yeah. in donuts, like it's a donut version of that story. <laughs> right, a real pick me up. Oh, it took a real bite out of me, but I'm back being a donut. <laughs> Most donuts would have quit. <laughs> uh, not, you know, not enough Sinbad, I'd say. All right. <laughs> Donetties. <laughs> Turn it off, Bert. Let the games begin. <laughs> Pleasant name tag selection process. Uh, and Jeff also pointed out that you all lied when you said the last movies you saw because you all watched a movie together today. Called yeah. Date Night. <laughs> she listened to it. Oh. And we only watched most of it, so. And what'd you guys well, think? Boy, of that? that's fun, guys. It's fun. It's okay. Funny. <laughs> Thanks for. You, you enjoyed Date Night? <laughs> I still want it to be Batman. Yeah, it was, was really good. funny. I enjoyed what I heard from the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Wahlberg's funny in it, right? The whole thing is hilarious. Okay. It just happened. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> Feels like the prequel to Game Night. And, uh,. I'm not well, mad it's about not that. a prequel. It came out before Game Night. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the one that came before it, but both ways. Do you just feel that about all movies with the word night in the title? It, it, yes. It, Dark Knight? Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a Midsummer's Night's Dream? Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil? A, a Knight's Tale. Mm-mm. Yeah. Those are not canon. <laughs> Night and day. All right, uh, enough of that game. We got other games to play. Who are you playing for, Jeff? I'm playing for Over the Toby, and it's uh, <laughs> it's a great big over the top poster with me and you as uh, Chris, uh, Sylvester Stallone and his uh, baby boy. <laughs> I am, of course, Sylvester Stallone, trying to win a cool truck so we can spend more time together, and. Uh, you're the you're my you're my boy. Good job, Toby. Yeah, nice job, Toby. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got there, Anna? Uh, good Michellas. <laughs> 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 I wish I took one with candy, but this one is good too. <laughs> I like this movie. It's good. Yeah. Right? Great job, Michelle. And it has. Um, I guess she is, um, if I'm trying, if I remember the original poster right, is uh, Ray Liotta, Jeff, and then Robert De Niro is you, Doug. Oh, nice. And then um, the third one, I don't remember. (laughs) That's you, Michelle, right? Joe. Good, good, good banter we have. Thank you. (laughs) Michelle is Pesci. That's his name, yes. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Joe DiMaggio right there in the yeah. middle <laughs> I heard they have really yeah. good Pesci Papa John right in the middle they have what good Pesci that? next door at uh, Palmer's <laughs> doesn't Pesci mean fish Troy yeah. who are you playing for I'm playing for uh, Seth to Smoochie here Seth to uh, Smoochie yeah, I like it's it a, yeah it's a movie I it's like it's framed in everything yeah that's nice um, and uh, he's got Jeff here right in the middle front and center Sam Levine, that was a good guess, but... Uh, um, yeah, then, Sam Levine will come to Kentucky sometime. Yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> Keep trying. But, uh, and then by some miracle, he's got me up in this corner. I don't know how he pulled that off. But, uh, so there I am. So it's perfect, except it has Starburst jelly beans. That's not you. Which, that's Osama Bin Laden. Oh, come on, Doug. <laughs> it's just a beer. <laughs> and then you got a bunch of Starburst jelly, jelly beans. beans. For, yeah, I don't care for those so much. So oh, really? Maybe, yeah. I'll take them. Yeah. All right. Shit, yeah. Throw them. Yeah. No, they're they're really. Time. I like jelly Starburst and I like jelly beans. So you put them together. Oh, good. There you go. And I like. Uh, okay. So that's who believe. you guys are playing on behalf of. <clears throat> I've devised a few uh, few games for us to play. Is anybody uh, in a hurry to get out of here? <laughs> okay. We're gonna play twenty two games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have been studying. I just want to. How does one study for this show? <laughs> Not, just pay more uh, attention. Jeff Tate, Jeff Tate will text you a random, 
movie person, and you have to text back all the movies you can think of. That's how studying is. Whoa, Jeff. So he, um, he makes us play the games. Right, you I don't know. We, like, I don't know what else we have to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I don't even know you. You just gave away jelly beans. What the you, fuck? <laughs> you just called us liars about the mess, last movie we saw. Yep. We're all we're friends. We're staying in the same hotel. It's fine. It's a safe space up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until Anna puts on a baseball hat. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wear it? I won't hit anybody. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Just let me wear it. You feel like you need a rally cap? No, I don't. Yeah. Listen, I don't, I don't trust her in that hat, honestly. Put it away. It's in the back. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I don't like who you become when you put that hat on. <laughs> Let's start with a little number that I call Live, Die, Repeat. Yes. Been practicing a lot for this one. Really? Uh-huh. You just, oh, yeah. You just, by yourself yelling out movie titles yep. quickly? Yep, as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Give us an example. Uh, uh, mean Streets. Yep. Oh, that was fast. Uh-huh. Batman. <laughs> oh, good. Very good. You guys are quick. <laughs> I think you're going to be good at this. Uh, so I'll just say the title of a movie, and it's, you got to repeat it back, the full correct title. That's what I'm looking for, and that person who does it wins. Just people on stage, not that everyone in this audience seems pretty cool, so I don't think anybody's going to try to yell it out. <clears throat> Diary of a... Diary of a... Diary of a mad black woman. Diary of a wimpy kid. Diary of... A. N- Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what did I tell you about using the N word? <laughs> Diary <laughs> of... A wimpy kid. <laughs> Road trip. Diary of a wimpy kid back to school. Diary of a wimpy kid spring break. Diary of a wimpy kid lunchtime. Diary of a wimpy kid. Diary. <laughs> <laughs> Diary of a wimpy kid play. band oh, camp. Play. Good job. A <laughs> diary of a wimpy kid. Rod Rick. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roderick. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Rod Roderick Rick. Andy. Rick. Diary of a Wimpy Kid <laughs> Roderick Rules. Diary of Diary a Wimpy, Wimpy Kid, kid Roderick Rules. rules. And a win. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Somehow you started saying it first and she got there. I, there might, I might have to disqualify one of you, though, because I'm in the, that mood since the Kentucky Derby. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It can be me. I'll, I'll, I'll take the DQ. <laughs> All right. Anna, great job. Thank you. You get to go first in this next oh, game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. No, yeah. it's good that you get to go first. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. And this is... I'm very excited about this game. It's another new one. I've been coming up with a lot of new ones lately. And is it? Okay. <laughs> Wait, do you want to guess what the new game is going to be? Yeah. <laughs> is it which Chris is it? <laughs> no, we just, that oh, was new the la- when I played it on the last one. I'll do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you'd all be really good at that game. But this game, this will be interesting. This game is called... Queen's Reich or wrong? Because <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Tate has spent his whole life with the same name as the lead singer of Queen's Reich. It's so true. So I thought it'd be fun to work that into a game. <laughs> so I'm going to name a movie. Queen's Reich sounds a lot like the third, and I just go ahead. <laughs> Wait. 
Queens is not your favorite of all the Reichs. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best Reich. <laughs> Show of hands, who loves Queens Reich? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. No, I like this one. Do that one. <laughs> so here's how this game works. I'll say the name of a movie. You tell me if it has a song on the soundtrack by Queensryche, by Queen, or neither. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, and if the first person gets it wrong, the next person has a shot. And if the next person gets it wrong, the last person gets a shot. And that's when it is hilarious right. when that happens. Uh, <laughs> I feel good about Queen. Uh, okay. We'll start with you. Uh, what are the options? I'm so sorry. What are the <laughs> options again? I'll, I'll repeat them every time, but okay. Queen's right, I'm really Queen, sorry. or neither. Okay. Yeah. Now, in this game, you're, you're going to need uh, to be lucid, <laughs> but not silent. <laughs> No silent lucidity. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> can I get another drink? Here we go. Okay. Oh, what would you like to drink? Uh, can I do a tall vodka and soda? What kind of vodka Single do you like? Single tall? Titos. Titos. Can we get a Titos and a soda for the lady? With a line. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind another one myself. I get the, the big glass. Uh, and a pint glass is a, is a real pro move. Right? Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Can you get my friend Doug um, a drink, my lady? <laughs> and me. I love you. Okay, let's do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're very, you're very polite the way you ordered that drink. You know, we don't have uh, the table service like everybody else in the, in the room, you know? So, so we just have to ask. A, and, a bright light service. And we just have to hope yeah. that it happens. Same with online dating, so I feel right at home with this. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, Roderick rules. <laughs> All right, here you go. Anna, is there a song by Queensryche or Queen in the movie Last Action Hero? I, I will say Queensryche. I will say that you are correct. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you laughing about, Jeff? I just can't believe Crazy Rack was on a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so rarely in a room where so many people know this Jeff Tate, and when you said the one about Crazy Rack, there's like three people who are like, maybe, and the rest are like, nah. <laughs> It's pretty great. <laughs> okay, so far Anna has one, and Jeff and Troy have a zero apiece. We'll start with you, <laughs> Jeff, on this next one. <laughs> Queen, Queen's, Queen's Reich. Okay, that, that should have been their name. Queen, Queen's Reich. Queen's Queer Waddle Revival. <laughs> 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 Queen, Queen's Reich, or neither. Oh, well, thank you so much. How do you know which one's which? We got the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I still want to know. <laughs> Queen, Queen's Reich, or neither, Jeff, in the movie The Babysitter. Sure, oh boy. The Babysitter? Mm -hmm. The Netflix McG vehicle? I don't know what he drives, but I think, yes, I think you might be right. I think it was on a Netflix movie. I'm going to say Queensryche. No. Troy. I'll guess neither. No. Anna. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is right. <laughs> All right, it has two. Oh Jeff, my God. Jeff and, <laughs> Jeff and Troy are here. <laughs> Jeff, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. 
Oh, that's for sure Queens Reich. Why do you say that? Because it's trash. <laughs> You're correct. Take, take. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Here we go. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> Trey Gallion, who just showed up. <laughs> no, Troy, is it, uh, which one is it? Queen's right, Queen, or neither? The Decline of Western Civilization, Part 2, The Metal Years. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, it's tricky because I don't think of either of those bands as being metal uh, no. per se, but uh, I guess well, people they say kind they, of were, yeah. Queensryche is, but I don't Are know they? For They're sure. metal? That's what people say. Um, I, only heard, I only hear that one song. I feel like this is a trap. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna say neither. No! Oh, come on. Okay. Anna. Queensryche. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Jeff. The movie is Shazam. Oh, Queen, there's a Queen song in that movie. That's right, there is a Queen song in it. Don't stop me now. So Jeff has two, Anna has three, and, and you know, I appreciate still, you coming Trey. by, Troy. I'm still, I'm still on Doug Loves Movies. This is a pretty good day. Yeah. <laughs> Anna has Trey, and Troy has Nay. Sorry. That's my real laugh. I'm really sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Trey. Oh, no, I got, it. I got one right, so yeah, it's somebody else. It. Yeah, it's, now it's, on it's my Troy. turn now. It's Troy's turn. I gotta get on the board. All right, well, give I, it to me. I think you have a really good chance here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what makes you say that? The Close film, your eyes and say, "Give it to me." <laughs> <laughs> the film is Game Night. <laughs> uh, is that the one we just watched? No, no you watched watch Date, date night. night. Ah! Uh, we just game watched night. it. <laughs> Queen. That is correct. Yeah! <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> Barely. Back to Anna. All right. The motion picture is called Big. Big. With Tom Hanks. Yes, pr I'll probably. I probably the one confirm. with Tom Hanks. <laughs> I'll say Queen. No. Fuck. <laughs> Jeff. Listen, um, oh. is it, like, I know Queensryche did a version of Chopsticks. <laughs> so does that, <laughs> like, does that count? <laughs> I'm going to say neither. That is correct. Uh. And we have a two-way tie between Anna and Jeff. Me? So, <laughs> Troy, you're gonna have to sit this last one out. This is the tiebreaker. I'm gonna play in my head, everybody. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and have fun in your head. <laughs> Let us know later how you did. That's the home version of Douglas movies. You can take it with you if you don't win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is just Jeff and Anna, and you, um, I'm gonna say a title, and you both just, whoever says the correct answer first wins. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Atomic Blonde. Neither. Queen. <laughs> Jeff wins. My it's my name too, Ew. everybody. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you really do get to bask in all that glory. They did that the whole time I was driving here, too. 
We were just practicing. You're very, I mean, you're an erratic driver. That's why we were <laughs> holding hands. And it was very scary. You can't drive hard in a Prius. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh no, I'm going 65. Ugh. Can't, you can't hear me. <laughs> She's kidding. It doesn't go 65. But Priuses don't go fast. I don't well, they know, do man. if you put them in power mode. Who in here has a Prius? Yeah, power mode. You guys fuck with it? Whew. <laughs> That leaf on your that leaf in your dashboard turns brown though. <laughs> it's green the rest of the time, but when you hit power mode, it's fucking. No, when you hit power brown. mode, you realize that thing has an engine. And you feel it. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my favorite ego conscious feature of the Prius is how we just wipe our hands on the seats. <laughs> yeah. No, no napkin. No napkin. No napkin. No beautiful. Zero napkin use. We spilled a lot of things. It was an hour, about an hour drive. We tend to spill a lot of things. We're Tates. (laughs) Anna, Anna too, Anna too, Anna's here too. My last name means hammer in Italian, so if you guys want to uh, just yell that. <laughs> Somebody yelled hammer in Italian. <laughs> you all the words. Uh, Jeff, before we begin the next game, would you like to uh, throw a donut? No, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, throw the one that you bit. No, no, I tasted it, and I don't want to put that on any of you guys now. Like, I like you as an audience. I don't want to give you a donut that's going to ruin your night. <laughs> they don't have milk here. <laughs> What's the name of that place that they're from? Meyer. That's how you pronounce it? Yeah. Because that's not how it's spelled. I've eaten nope. a lot of wieners. That's not how you spell Meyer. <laughs> I mean, there's a song that tells you how to spell Meyer. And they are fucking it up on that donut box. Yeah, Meyer is the, the Pepsi of Kroger. It's just what you were, you know what I mean? <laughs> Local joke. <laughs> My baloney has a second name. It's M E I J E R. M E I I J E R. That's all I know. <laughs> Jury, you real soon. <laughs> We're just taking orders, yeah. Um, we're going to play a game now that uh, we usually close out the shows with, and uh, people love it. <laughs> no. But I got a special version of it tonight. It's called Last Man Stanton. <laughs> Now, we all know how great uh, Jeff Tate is at, uh, you know, this show in general, but specifically Last Man Stanton. He always does quite well at it. Sometimes he even gives away his lifeline, and then he still wins. So, (laughs) I'm not trying to intimidate you guys. I'm trying to uh, let you know that I want to level the playing field. So tonight, I would like... Troy and Anna to each select an actor or actress that you would be good at and then we'll see once Jeff gets into the mix how that plays out. (laughs) (laughs) So This is a dream come true. (laughs) Is it? I think so. Do you have a strategic name in mind? Wow, both of you guys have really low dreams. (laughs) 
I never said. I never said. But we're making dreams come true. Troy got to throw a donut. (laughs) Hey, mine was more of a wish. Okay, not a dream. It's different. No. Uh, Okay, you're right. (laughs) I mean, look, I already know who I'm going to pick. The difference Why? between, <laughs> what's that? I was going to say, the difference between Troy and Anna is that uh, he threw a coin into a fountain and she went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> a wish and a dream. Come on. <laughs> Wait, are you guys still here? I was poetic. That was... <laughs> Oh, man. That happens to me all the time. I'm always saying hilarious shit, and then the audience is like, I didn't, I wasn't listening. <laughs> like, it happens. <laughs> I don't think I got it we at first. We stepped out on that one. Nobody, nobody, the whole room did not get that. It was so profound. I think everybody was taken aback and wiped yeah. away a tear. It was oh, my beautiful. God, Doug, that's so profound. Why don't Frog you girl cried. Right, yeah. fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the day the frog cried. Uh, it's a very sad movie. Uh, okay, so what do you guys think? You got you got anybody in mind? Yeah. Who do you want to use? Um, this person I uh, belong to a fan club to when I was in grade school online, um, and that is Nicole Kidman. Nice. People in the back, especially, love. Nicole Kidman. People in the Outback. (laughs) (laughs) And who would you like to uh, suggest, Troy? You know Jeff pretty well. You know what he might not know. Um, He knows everything, so... uh, My best bet is to go for someone I know. Okay. And uh, I guess her choice makes mine a little interesting, but I already thought of it. I'm going to go with uh, Tom Cruise. Oh. They were oh. my choice. Together again they were tonight, married. everybody. One night only. <laughs> All right. They were married, and they have two adopted kids together. Yeah. I never stalked them like Anna did Nicole. She's but... allergic to strawberries. <laughs> I know too much about oh. her. Is that, did she just get a point for that? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Nicole Kidman eat a napkin that was on fire once. <laughs> Hold on. Surprisingly because not allergic to those. Because Sean Penn did it first, and then she tried it. At, <laughs> I was just in a bar that was very empty, and they were at like the table next to mine. And uh, I would have peed my I had also, wow. I was also at that bar because I had been told they were there. <laughs> 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 Celebrities, man, they're just like us. Yeah. Right? I even talked to Sean Penn before uh, he was outside the bar before I went in. I uh, walked up and uh, I was with somebody that was like, you know, mutual acquaintance of his. And uh, they said, Doug's in a show called The Marijuana Logs. And Sean Penn said, That sounds like a Woody Harrelson production. <laughs> and that's the only time I've ever spoken to Sean Penn. <laughs> And it was enough. I got a perfect amount of Sean Penn. But yeah, and then they were sitting around. Uh, Catherine Keener was there, a couple other actors. Wow. Okay, yeah. this, is mu- this must have been while they were filming a particular movie I will bring up later. And I know exact. it must have been around that time. Because she was also in this movie that I'm thinking of. Yep. Also, can I hit my jewel on stage? You know what? I know what that is, but that ex- as an expression, that sounds weird. <laughs> hey, can I hit my jewel? <laughs> On stage. But yeah, go okay, for it. Right. You did it. Do you want to... No. No, we're good. <laughs> we're trying to do a professional show over here. <laughs> there's a time for jewelry, and there's a time for... <laughs> no jewelry. <laughs> Oh, that right. sounds like well, this who's... is going to take a second because Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, good lord! So, I've been in three movies. So no you. lifelines. If you miss, you're completely out. Ooh. And of course, I'm going to play two to try to uh, spoil the, the whole situation. Um, uh, uh, Jeff won that last game, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go Jeff, me, uh, Troy, Anna. Switch the order around. You'll be all right. There'll still be a few of their Nervous. movies left after three. <laughs> after three are gone. All right, start us off, Jeff. What do you think? 
Uh, Days of Thunder. Okay, I get it. You're being cocky. Naming, starting off with one that they're both in. Two left. Good job. <laughs> I'll go with, oh, okay, we're going to knock all those down. I'll go with uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'll go ahead Troy. and take an uh, uh, interview with the vampire right off the board. Right. All right. Is that? They're both they're both in that one, right? Did I do it right? Yeah, Tom Cruise. No, you're is in fine. That. Ah. Nicole wasn't though. Okay. No, she wasn't. No. All right, I'll knock oh, off wait, the wait, third. Wait, turn is it? It's mine. You sure? I'm positive. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give you, give us your answer, one Kelly shot, Clarkson. It's mom spaghetti. It's that mom spaghetti song. One shot, lose yourself. Far and away. <laughs> that's the three movies they were in together oh snap oh far and away that's right I know yeah. <laughs> two uh, places I wish I was while I was watching that movie <laughs> um. <laughs> it is so bad <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's here. nothing. It's nothing to die for. Oh. 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 <laughs> now I get what's happening here. We need to uh, say our answer as in a form of a sentence. I got this, you guys. Paddington. <laughs> I mean, of course I was going to think of that with Jeff dressed as him. I might even have some marmalade in my beard. <laughs> I'm going to say Top Gun. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, good one, Trey. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> That's why. That was mean. Ooh, she's Italian. She's sassy. Is it anybody's birthday in here? Because <laughs> if you're a female, you would be a birthday girl. Nicole Kidman. Oh, <laughs> damn. Hey. I mean, that was, that was pretty close to how we do it. <laughs> I've had to tell I mean, you're getting close. You don't quite yet have all the right moves, but you'll get there. Oh. I want to go home. <laughs> I'll, drink, I'll drink a cocktail to that. Oh. <laughs> that was going to be mine. I was hoping for a drink. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, risky business. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's real workmanlike at this game. I don't mess around too much. <laughs> I learned it from Jeff. Uh, bewitched. Mm -hmm. No fun with that one. Did you see that movie? <laughs> I own it's, it on DVD. <laughs> It feels like it takes you, so yeah. many the hours. <laughs> it takes like five of the hours to watch. <laughs> right? I mean, it's okay. That movie, if it was just called Hours, that would have been better. Are you okay, Jeff? Nah, no. Nah, I don't think Are so. you losing it? <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, you haven't said Jack Reacher yet, so are you okay? Jack Reacher, that's my answer. Just Jack Reacher? Yep. Okay. Batman Forever. Forever. <laughs> she does know her Kidman movies. Jeff. Oh, man. <laughs> Once we start talking about Batmans, that really takes me down a rabbit hole. <laughs> God, that was a really good one. Uh, I didn't even get it. It's a Nicole Kidman movie. All right. 
I mean, I got it. <laughs> Later. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Vanilla uh, uh, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> Um, Live, Die, Repeat. Also known as? Edge of Tomorrow. I got to say them both? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There's both of them. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Nicole Kidman is from Australia. Oh! A state with a movie, not a fact. I it's, told you, facts about her are not going to get you points. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia, mate. Australia. Oi, governor! Right? They don't... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's Australia, sure. right? Um, anyway, I've been there once, and I vowed to Jack Reacher never go back. <laughs> uh, I got bit by a snake. Jack Reacher, never go back. <laughs> All right. Well, might as well get these, uh, get these ones rolling. I'll go with the first mission, colon, impossible. Uh, I'm going to say the, the firm. <laughs> Let's, get Let's, get Let's get those out of the way, too. Why is that so funny? <laughs> because there's so many Mission Impossibles. <laughs> Those guys, they got a lot of words in them, and I am a man of few words. Lion. Oh. Film partially in Cincinnati. <laughs> What, the part with the lions? <laughs> yeah, one of them ate a fucking Red Bull cane. <laughs> Kevin James. Kevin James had to stick his meat hook down there and fucking <laughs> root around with those fat hands. <laughs> well, I think I found it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, man, Kevin James is fine. He's like part of, he's a, he's a few good men. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, shit. I just, I can't, I can't remember anything right now. I feel, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like a boy erased. <laughs> oh, no. Good one. Yeah. That was new and good. <laughs> Those new ones always get you. <laughs> uh, Troy. Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all right. Everybody loves that movie. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and, uh, so the the movie that was filming that you saw all of them together was The Interpreter. Oh, yeah. The Interpreter. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Are you sure it wasn't one of the others? The (laughs) Interpreter. Whoa. God damn, Jeff. You are a... Destroyer! (laughs) (laughs) Troyer. Minority Report. (laughs) Is that what you do every time you see one? (laughs) They're barbecuing again. (laughs) I mean, it's their porch, but come on. <laughs> Moulin Rouge. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm gonna have to just dig down deep and find one in the old oblivion up here. That didn't make any sense, Jeff. I mean, I'll was... say one thing about your demeanor playing this game. You're dead calm. <laughs> oh my, that is such a good one. Yeah. Good. It's the old six-hander. That was one I was keeping in the old holster up my butt, you know what I mean? Like, and you... Wait, you I kind of know what you mean. <laughs> you holster answers in yeah. your butt? <laughs> Billy Zane is in that one. Yes. He's always in a movie on a boat. You know, Dead Calm is on a boat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, Titanic. Also a villain on a boat. And yeah. The Phantom. We're not playing Billy Zane, though. Yeah, enough with the Billy Zane over there. <laughs> Sorry. Is it my turn? No, right, no it's my turn. No, he's, it's, it's, Thanks. I had the time to think of one. Yeah. If first Mission you don't succeed, Troy, Troy two. again. Yeah! You did it! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> Is anybody here pregnant? Are they about to give birth? Oh. Oh. I'm really works... sorry. I hated that I did that. <laughs> That's okay. It works better when, you do, when it's a movie people have heard of. It's just birth. Part. It's called birth. She made with a child. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That doesn't help. <laughs> I still don't know it. Um, <sighs> Mission Impossible. Ghost Protocol. Oh. Okay. Everyone's mad now. I might as well say Mission Impossible Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a swing at a Nicole Kidman. Uh, okay, good luck. <laughs> Death Becomes Her? What? No? Mm, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I'm all out. Which one between, I don't know. between Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn, which one do you think? <laughs> like, which I one's think the I most had... Nicole Kidman-like? It was a little of both. <laughs> <laughs> they would combine to be very Nicole Kidman like. That's true. They're all they're all great. Uh, but thanks for playing, Troy. Yeah. Sorry, Seth. I tried. I tried. <laughs> would you like to Would you like to throw a donut out of anger? Yeah, angry donut. Get yeah, ready, here it comes, you guys. Maybe throw it. Oh shit! Oh! oh. <laughs> you catch it. Stone Cold right, Stiff. Yeah, I mean, I still wanted somebody to he catch pulled it. it right that out guy of the looks air like and, yeah. that guy reminds me of me. Like he's been training his whole life to catch a donut <laughs> out of the air. <laughs> One of these days, <laughs> I've lost two marriages, but I swear to God, I'm gonna catch a donut one day. <laughs> yeah, he goes to a batting cage. And he's like, I don't need a bat. <laughs> you can't <laughs> stop putting donuts in the machine. <laughs> it fucks up the machine. <laughs> Um, is it my turn? It's my turn. Yeah. It's her turn. <laughs> For an imaginary portrait of Diane Arbus. <laughs> wow. wow. That's some real full title shit right there. I mean, fur title. <laughs> Jeff. Boy, if only I could tell the secrets in their eyes. <laughs> Did I say everyone's secrets in your eyes? Who's in that? Nicole Kidman. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's the way he's got Nicole Kidman and Julia Roberts and... Uh, yeah, I was going to say Julia Roberts is in that, but Chiwetel I don't know Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Was, Kidman. No, she's in it, yeah. Oh, okay. She plays the third. She's I, think the third oh, I think it's Meryl Streep. Okay. All right. it, is not, it is not Meryl Streep or Goldie Hawn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Jeff, I have a question about, like, like, how are you able to come up with all these titles? Is it... Is it practical magic? (laughs) (laughs) That was so good. Um, Malice. (laughs) 
Oh, dope. I heard that yeah. movie was American made. Wow, he switched back over to Tom. I see. Uh, <laughs> as long as we're messing around with Tom Cruise, we might as well say taps. Oh. Yeah. Oh, speaking of taps, happy feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Jerry Maguire. What? Murmur. I can't believe we hadn't said that one yet. That is wild. Uh, after the show, by the way, I'm going to um, be just in front of the club. It's such a nice night. Uh, I figure we should all be the outsiders. <laughs> oh! Oh, ho, ho. Woo. That was good. In the great outdoors, Doug? Is that what you're talking about? Is that... <laughs> it's not the right it, guy. Am I back in? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back in. I've seen it happen before. Or heard it. You can't just see a John Candy movie and get back in. I mean, I everybody we, loved I the we were guy. Doing a thing. I said a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what you thought. You did. You did. <laughs> what do you got, Anna? Happy feet too. Is there like a subtitle thingy after no. the thing? <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> um I can't believe it took so long to say Jerry Maguire. My favorite quote from Jerry Maguire is show me the color of money. <laughs> You know what people are going to call you, Jeff? What's that? Legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how many movies I just thought of? Nine. Oh, my God, you got two more. <laughs> Never seen anybody so excited about a two more. <laughs> oh my god, can I get another drink? <laughs> no, I'm just, I shouldn't. I mean, some of these, some of these birthday girls are born on the 4th of July. Oh, nice. Son of a bitch. I know, I'm a real motherfucker. <laughs> Pretty serious. <clears throat> I fuck this one up every time, so I hope I say it right. If I don't, it's been a pleasure playing with you guys. <clears throat> Lambs for lions. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I always fuck it up. Anna? Um, a portrait of a lady. Jeff? Damn. Portrait of a lady. Magnolia. Um, can I, can I use a lifeline for somebody that? to look up a movie that I know? Um, it's Nicole Kidman and George Clooney. Can somebody look it up, <laughs> please? Give her That's that hat back. That's how it works. <laughs> Give her that hat back. I thought that you said help. you had two more. Uh, <laughs> Plus, no one is saying the one I said wrong. <laughs> It's an easy fix. <laughs> Doug said lambs for lions, and he was wrong. <laughs> but he was close. <laughs> he was just looking at it from the wrong side of the table. Lions for lambs? Yeah, there you go, lions for lambs. <laughs> I thought they would have talked about it in Zookeeper. <laughs> <laughs>
Nope, they just talked about Kevin James' dick. So. Wow. Sorry, that was the Tito's talking. When it's, uh, <laughs> I guess if that is down to me and Anna. We're having a real War of the Worlds up here. Oh, really? Because it seems like it's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The Invasion! I think it's the Invasion. Yeah, invasion. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Whoever went, oh, that's it. Oh, boy, we might have to deal with a little Mission Impossible fallout from that answer. It seems like we'll need the Peacemaker. Oh, come. dunk! That's the one. George Clooney hits a car with a car. It's awesome. <laughs> he fucking, he's out of bullets, so he hits a car with his car. He, it's fucking cool. The first, like, 15 minutes of it suck. It's so boring. But then it really picks up. Um, I keep waiting for your senses to end in a movie title. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, he went and uh, married the Stepford Wives. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, no, you're thinking of Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the working title for that movie was Fuck Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was released in Europe as Just Fuck. They're really progressive over there. <laughs> what do you got? Anything? How dare you stump me on Nicole Kidman? There's got to be another one out there. There's that one where she was all like, what? <laughs> Uh, there was one she, that was filmed in Cincinnati. I already said lion. No, no. The other one. There's another one. She's been in the natty more than once? Yeah, yeah. You, I worked on Lion, Carol, Marauders, Ides of March, and... Um, the Airborne. Mariah Carey one. What is it? Oh, A Christmas glitter. Melody. A Christmas Melody. Ooh. It was on Lifetime. It was... I pooped in her bathroom. That's the best... <laughs> Not easy to catch a donut. It's got a hole in it. That's why you. That's why you train. <laughs> anyway, I think it might be my turn. Is it my turn? Are we gonna count no, that you pooped mine, in Mariah Carey's trailer as a as an answer? That was her house. I pooped in. It was her house. That's awesome. I thought toilet was the movie. <laughs> I'm really fucked here. Do I get a lifeline since I picked it? No. All right. You got, you got to pick the name, and yet still, Jeff is still... <laughs> what a test. Breathing down your neck. Oh, uh, I just... I, 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 I'm a little under the weather. Um, isn't there <laughs> a... Um, it was... Do you guys see all the Mission Impossibles? I think there's, you said them all. There's one I saw left. Mission Impossible Reload. <laughs> no, you didn't. Fuck. No, I saw... <laughs> Which one is that? More than one? Yeah. I don't know. I saw it at the yeah, gym Baldwin's and I thought, remember them. this. And now I don't. Yeah. Oh, I thought of it. Of it. <laughs> Mission Impossible <laughs> Rogue Nation. <laughs> oh, wow. Good memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fuck. Okay, go. You go, because then I have one. <laughs> All right, I'll go quick so you don't forget. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that kind of pressure is not good for me. I'm not good at that kind of pressure. Um, no, hold on. Are you really Stop. out of titles, Jeff? No, she's fucking breathing. She's fucking swooping oh, in like a lady a hawk. <laughs> We're having a great time. This is the best day of my life. It's fine. I just, I just said one. Good luck. Were you, hope, were you hoping no, you that Nicole Kidman was in Lady Hawk? Say it again. What? What did I say? I didn't you said hear you. Lady Hawk. Yeah, isn't Tom Cruise in Lady Hawk? No. No. 
Uh, I mean, I mean Matthew Broderick does a great Tom Cruise impression <laughs> in Lady Hawk. There's that's one scene not, where he runs. I mean, it's a good thing that's not what I said. <laughs> Why would it, who, what kind of idiot would say Lady Hawk? What, so what did you say? <laughs> um, what did I say? That is an excellent question, Doug. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> How did I say it? <laughs> Was it earlier? Or when did I say it? Thank you, sir. Bless you. <laughs> hey, no answers from the audience, please. <laughs> Collateral. Whoa. I think y'all forgot the part of the story where I belong to a Nicole Kidman fan club. A golden Compass. Yes. <laughs> I did forget that part of the story. I think that's it for you, Jeff. <sighs> this might be Bella. oh night and day <laughs> <laughs> oh shit is it Valkyrie oh that's right Oh man, that scared me so bad. I made a human stain. <laughs> oh, you human stain. You suck. That's okay. Oh Most... my, I told you about that movie. Uh huh. Oh my fucking God. Right? Should have kept mum. Holy shit. I fucked myself. Don't we all wish we could do that? Played a good game. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the new season of uh, Big Little Lies. I can't do TV shows. I know you can't. I just, <laughs> just sitting there. Talking. Oh! Oh! Um, just go with it. Adam she, Sandler. Just go with it. That is right. Yes, it is. What? <laughs> Are you guys just going with it? Is that why, like, she said it with such conviction? You were like, that seems right. Who's in that one? Adam Sandler, Adam Jennifer Aston, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, it's true. Oh, uh, Nicole Kidman was the name I was looking for. <laughs> Uh, we, gotta get, we gotta get going, Jeff. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know! Austin Powers 2, the spy who shagged me. No, no, no. Is it three? No. It's three, you can't Cold member? the audience, Jeff. You said a wrong answer. So you are out. I'm out. Anna wins. Hammer, hammer. Michelle, come get your prizes. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's do oh, some plugs. There you go. Trey, I mean, Troy, goddamn. Oh, come on. You are amazing. Hey. Hey, oh, Congratulations. Okay, and you can have your name tag back and everything. Uh, what do you got to plug, Troy? Oh, uh, What's the podcast called? It's called Altered Tates, and uh, we haven't. We'll be making more episodes. We just did one. We got one in the can. Is that how you guys say? Mm-hmm. And then it's it'll plop soon. Is that what you say? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm a pro. So listen to Altered Tates. 
Yeah. Thanks, thank, thanks thank for having you, me. Thank you, Doug. Troy Tate, for his first appearance on Good the luck. show. Anna Maza. Um, I am at Go Bananas this coming weekend. I'm um, nice. hosting in for... in Cincinnati, of course. Yeah, it's in Cincinnati. I'm hosting for Sally Brooks, and um, I have some things going on this summer, but I'll be at Go Bananas again in July. Um, I'm hosting for Greg Stone. Um, he has a podcast, The Red Ducast. Um, I guess it's popular. I've never listened to it. <laughs> Sure. Uh, but follow me on Instagram. I post local shows and everything. So come be my friend, I guess. Yes, the hammer. <laughs> Jeff Tate, what do you have to plug? Uh, I got a show on Friday at Street City Pub on 6th Street in Cincinnati. It starts at, uh, let's say, 9 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> I'll be in uh, Knoxville on the 15th. Is that right? (laughs) Was that Morgan Freeman that said that? (laughs) Well, you don't have to come. Uh, not, I, it's at a place no, called the I really want to know that guy's problem with Tennessee. I want to know. <laughs> it's probably college what sports related or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> is All it? Right. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what it is. Right? It's the emptiest of reasons. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Pi- I'm at the Pilot Light in Knoxville, Tennessee. Some of you can Fuck come. Knoxville! <laughs> On the 17th of May, I'm at the Lazoom Room in Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> okay, <sure. laughs> right? And June 27th through the 30th, I'm at uh, um, Go Bananas. Fuck Cincinnati! <laughs> nice. Nice. That would be a fun trend if during the plug portion, the audience just started saying, fuck whatever town <laughs> we mentioned. On July 24th, Glory is being released in theaters for one night. I'm going to go see that. (laughs) That's it. Alter Tates. Check it out. Uh, Yay. Uh, Yay. (laughs) I'm doing a series of dates in the uh, first week of June called the Cannabis and Cheese Tour because it's me and uh, Dale Cheeseman is going to be on every date. It's a mix of stand-up and Douglas movies. We're going to Boston, Providence, Philly, Oh. There's a dog in here. Uh, And uh, Baltimore and uh, D.C. And so come see one of those if you can. And thank you to the everyone who showed up tonight. This was so much fun. Thank you to Comedy Off-Broadway. And one more time for my guests, Troy Tate, Anna Mazza, and Jeff Tate. Get that theme music ready, Jordan, because I'm about to say, as always, positive energy! Woo!